And uh, happy Monday, folks. Today is a first alert weather day, not only tracking that excessive heat, that dangerous heat, but severe thunderstorms are firing there where you've got that heat and that humidity. So kind of a, a double jeopardy type situation here with the dangerous heat and of course dangerous storms that we're tracking as well. There's the temperatures there where the storms have already passed through seeing 70s, but approaching uh, where the storms are approaching, seeing those mid to upper 90s, 97 Fergus, uh, 99 there in Sisseton. Dew points are flat out tropical. We're talking 60s and even 70s for dew points, so plenty of moisture there for these storms to feed off of. Of course, factor in the heat with that dew point, that humidity, that heat index into the triple digits for some folks, especially for our friends there in Fergus Falls, Sisseton, 102 degrees, that heat index there, and 90 degrees, the heat index in Fargo as that storm is approaching the metro, moving into some very juicy air when it comes to humidity. So lots of lightning there in northern Minnesota, lots of lightning with that storm approaching Fargo from the west. There's the severe thunderstorm warning with that cell right now moving toward Castleton. That's now been updated just here uh, about 30 seconds ago to 1.25 inches. That's half dollar size tail possible with this, but still could see some winds gusting up over 70 miles per hour. So considerable damage is possible here and also take note of that threat. Tornado is possible. There has been some broad rotation. Some of these storms here, there is an environment that is conducive to perhaps a spin up tornado here or there. We're watching this very carefully, though. We haven't seen anything uh, too telling of any tornadoes on the ground or any funnel clouds at this point, but all the more reason to take this storm seriously. For those folks in Fargo, have about another 30 minutes or so before this is moving into the metro. I expect that to be around Fargo around 640 p.m. or so if it maintains its current speed and track. But take notice of some other cities here. Uh, Mapleton there around 628 and then Sabin if that makes it all the way out toward Minnesota, which it may go north of Sabin, but that area, the Sabin area around 654. So first alert for all of us here in Fargo, Moorhead, that a severe storm is knocking on our doorstep. Could be some damaging hail and some damaging wind with that storm as it moves its way into the metro. Here's a, a update to this severe thunderstorm warning in Beltrami Lake of the Woods County. It now only includes far southeastern Lake of the Woods. That uh, storm just south of uh, Badet and just approaching Washkish, so could see some hail upwards of one inch in diameter. But this particular cell, as it moved its way through Red Lake County, did produce some damaging winds. So damaging wind to possibility there in Waskish. You folks up along the county line, Beltrami Lake of the Woods, and Clearbrook, a storm just exiting you. That was severe when it moves through, but it looks like conditions will be improving in Clearbrook as we speak. Now that the worst of that storm does appear to be off toward your east in Bagley. That storm just toward your north, north of the highway in Bagley is where we're seeing that cell. Big picture shows these storms continuing. Again, this is round one of two rounds expected tonight. The second round is still off into South Dakota. Uh, yeah, and that will continue, of course, through the evening. So the tornado threat is there, as I was saying. The environment is conducive. Some spin in the atmosphere, which could produce an isolated tornado here or there. Watching that carefully. Uh, again, this is, um, if you are out and about, make sure to have a way to get those warnings in case a tornado warning is issued. And it best happens, of course, within the early development of these storms, as we do expect more of a wind threat when these storms become a bit more developed. Uh, hail, though, a possibility for all of us. Enhanced risk of hail there across the metro into uh, the Thief River Falls area with these storms. We're watching that very carefully. Could see some up to two inches in diameter. Haven't seen too many reports of two inches plus yet. But again, the ingredients are there, very strong updrafts with these storms to where we could see that hail up over two inches. And of course, wind, a threat for all of us as these storms push their way through. So this is round one, looks to be done uh, the, later on this evening, but round two is late tonight after about 10 p.m. So this is the after 4 p.m. round. There's an after 10 p.m. round, which looks to come overnight and winds 80 miles per hour plus there a possibility uh, with the second round. But of course, the first round, we're seeing it right now, localized flash flooding likely occurring. We have seen some wind gusts up over 90 miles per hour in some spots, but look at the hour by hour as it takes most of that, those isolated cells further into Minnesota. But here's 10 o'clock, 1030. There's our second round of storms making its way in. That does look to move through the metro here, Fargo-Moorhead around midnight tonight or so. And again, it's more of a bow situation here where you got that kind of C shape with this system. So winds, uh, the primary concern that we could see some more damaging hail overnight tonight. Here's 2.30 a.m. That moves its way into northern Minnesota. I expect by 4 a.m. or so the th severe threat to be done as some cooler air will be wrapping around with those shower and storm chances there around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Not expecting those to be severe. So we have, of course, that morning chance of showers and storms. Wednesday, we're quiet. We're in the mid 80s for Wednesday. Thursday, hot again. We could again see some showers and storms popping up. So we're watching again Thursday, Friday for perhaps some strong to possibly severe storms. This will be hot, will be humid. 
and we do cool off in time for the weekend there. A few showers possible Saturday. We're looking at 80s for those temperatures, though, for the weekend. So not looking too bad, of course. Got to get through today's active weather, so of course stay <laughs> tuned. Vino Weather App, Stacy, and of course right here, Valley News Live, we'll keep everybody updated. All right, thanks so much, Nathan. Yeah. Coming up next here at 6, how soon you can sign up to get babies and small children in line for a COVID vaccine.